Hi, this is Roger Newcomb on the red carpet of the 37th Annual Daytime Emmy Awards for We Love Soaps TV. And I'm Damon L. Jacobs. Stay tuned because we're going to bring you all the interviews, chats, and more. Right. Stay tuned. Hey, hi! They're letting anybody in here do these days. So I, must needed, be Vegas. I needed to rest somewhere. I'm glad. I feel like I'm home. Me, Michael. You guys haven't had me on in a while. Have I done something wrong? We, we've been calling for you every day. <laughs> you've been a busy boy, though. Yeah. As the world turns, two web soaps. Two web soaps. I uh, play. I did a musical, right? At uh, Playwrights Horizons. It's going to do Williamstown this summer. Looking wow. forward to doing that. Wow. So it's fun. It's going to be fun. It's exciting and terrifying all at the same time. Wow. Well, this has been a phenomenal year for you. We've been, I've been watching you since 1997. I've just never seen you go to as, as many emotional depths as you have in this storyline this past year. Oh, thank it's you. It's been amazing. I'm so glad you're nominated. Are you feeling nervous right now? Uh, I don't I don't know. You know, you hear rumblings of what's going to happen, and so you can only prepare yourself so much. So, I, am I nervous? A little bit, but I'm, I'm pretty calm. I'm confident. Yeah. And, you know, the, it's calm, but terrified on the inside. Trying to keep a calm exterior with a, you know, jumping and jumping on the inside. Well, you know, as long as you remember We Love Soaps in your acceptance speech tonight, okay. it's, everything's going to be fine. Do I, get ex do I get paid? Will I get paid? Sure, you get like paid as much as we do. <laughs> <laughs> well, cheers. Have Michael, a great night. I really you admire your work. On, thank you so much. Thank so you. do you. I admire your work on S World Turns, Gotham, Steamboat. Steamboat. Steamboat was a lot of fun, right? So amazing. Keep so your eye out for Gotham. I don't think we're done there yet. I hope not. No, no, no. Keep your eye out. I hope not. And truly, your work on this year on S World Turns was phenomenal. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you very much. All right, Cheers, have a great guys. night. Yes! Woo! 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 Michael, congratulations on a well, well, well deserved Emmy. Oh, Your material this year took you to new depths with an actor that we have not seen before. What did you draw upon? How did you get there? Well, it was, uh, it was a culmination. I think Terry Colombino uh, brought a lot to the table where that is, was concerned because, you know, this was the hurt. My, my brother dying, I think I was drawing from that. If I, my, my sister passed away from leukemia when she was... Uh, 14, and so it was, uh, I mean, if I had to go someplace, that's the place I was going to go. And then to think of my my big brother passing away, that would have crippled me. And so, you, I'm doing it now, and so you, you go there. I wouldn't call it method or anything, and I wouldn't put a label on it, but it just so happened that it, it was there. It was available. Thank you. Hi. Oh. May you never have to do that. <sighs> well, I hate to say something as cliche as it's been a roller coaster. It truly has. Uh, th those people work so we all work so hard in what we do, but knowing for six months that we weren't going to have a job anymore made it that much harder to go to work every day with smiles on our faces and it, it, uh, but we, we did and the, and the, the writing was was, was uh, lacking because of it because Gene found a new job and people were finding new jobs were finding a way to wrap something up in the whole hopes that maybe we could sell the show someplace and so there was that going on back in the back of your mind and I didn't really want to grasp onto that and so each day knowing that sooner or later the inevitable was going to happen and you were going to have to say goodbye you, you, you just try to uh, garner up this, I, I, I don't know, this kind of tough exterior as, it, as if it's not hurting you, but the whole time it's just killing you inside. And this, never in my wildest dreams, I never thought I was this good, so. There's 60 people who work so hard in what they do. Again, they're not going to be going... I'm, this is the last time I saw them, for all I know. I, I, you know, I hope I get... I'll keep in touch with with a, a few of them, and maybe I'll see them on other shows, hopefully, fingers crossed. But uh, it was, it's really hard, because, you know, I, it's, it, I, I don't know where their next job is going to be, and, and you, you kind of take that on, and I, as, a, as a leader or a... Oh, did someone say... <laughs> Truly, I, I wouldn't have wanted it any other way. I mean, obviously. 
What are you going to miss most about the Titans chat? Now I'm gonna be, you know, I'm gonna miss getting beat up all the time for being judgmental and stuff like that. And I know, you know, the guy has been kind of like the punching bag for a while, and you know, rightfully so in, in ways. It was really tough to get married 17 times in two years. So I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna miss miss that. And the whole road and journey back to to Mora or back to Carly, I'm I'm, I'm gonna miss those moments. Michael. <laughs> I might give it to my grandmother. Aww. She's been watching the show for 53 years. I can't believe this. <laughs> no, I can't believe how emotional, how emotional I am. I am. I, I really, truly can't. Seeing Maura and my wife right there, my fake wife and my real wife, that kind of just it, it took me over. So, yeah. I shouldn't have looked over there. You talked about the emotional aspect of the last day on the show. Do you remember your first day on the set? I do. Chris Galvin was directing, as a matter of fact, and all he saw was my feet, and I wasn't in the right spot, so I got yelled at two or three times for not being in the right spot. I remember Peter Peros giving me the the uh, the tour of the studio. I remember that. But, you know, I... I, I... Hey, Michael, one quick question. Um, your emotion is palpable tonight. Um, given the state of daytime and what you've just gone through and what your peers with Guiding Light went through last year, do you see yourself, considering three shows have been canceled in three years, do you see yourself doing another soap with the state of soaps as they are? Three shows have been canceled in three years? Passion. Oh, Passion. Guiding Light. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, no, um, I apologize for that. I just not really. Um, do I see myself where? Do you see yourself doing another soap and risking having to get committed? And uh, hey, listen, you move where the food is, and so I my shingles out. What do you hope next? What, what do you hope is next for Michael? I, I I hope I have a, a long, fantastic theater career as well as you know. But, uh, what's that? Well, we can only we can only hope. But thank you, thank you all. I appreciate it. I didn't even say my husband's name, and everybody who knows me know, knows how I feel about him. <laughs> um, uh, Scott DeFreitas, and I just feel like crap for not saying that. But um, I think, what did I say, Kate? I, 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 I think firstly I expressed that Michael winning was enough for me, and I genuinely meant that. It would have been a great night indeed if my hands were empty and his was golden. But um, to have it be both of us is great. Um, and then I, I, I thanked Chris Goutman and the producers of my show. And I talked, I, my daughter came up with me. Uh, and that's the only part she remembers. <laughs> and, uh, but, but truly, and I, I meant it to have this happen in the presence of one of my children is, is it's overwhelming. Anyone who follows the show knows that that was the way um, to get me out, to have my daughter Bernie. He just had her first birthday. So um, that was literally my, my last day of work. I was eight and a half months pregnant. That was the last day before I went on maternity leave. That was a long, hard day for a very pregnant woman. Um, but I think if you see that, really, you see the um, extraordinary uh, castmates of mine who um, rose to the occasion and, and, and helped me through some difficult stuff. And so I thank them deeply as well, Katie McLean and John Lindstrom and Nick Hazen, who plays my son, extraordinary. Of course, Michael Park and Julie Pinson had a little bit in there as well. So I didn't know, no one knows, oh, this is going to win me anything. <laughs> Laura, David Jacobs from We Love Soaps, congratulations. Hi. The scenes that, that you submitted, we've seen Carly fight so many people over the years, but we had never really seen her fight herself. What did you draw upon for these scenes that you, you had? Uh, I'm not a method actor. I'm old school acting. You're taught to act. Uh, so I don't, know, I don't mean that to sound fresh, but um, it really is just acting. And that's my skill, and that's what I love to do. I didn't draw on my own life at all. What's next for you? Uh, a break. <laughs> a well-deserved break. Some time with my children and packing up my home in Connecticut and moving to Los Angeles. Uh, I, 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 J. Crew. I never wear anything I can't afford. <laughs>